Hello students, in this lecture we will be discussing packaging of chromosomes. In this lecture we will be focusing on packaging of chromosome in humans. So this particular lecture is specifically for human chromosome packaging. During packaging chromosome uh, of chromosome, the condensation of chromosomes takes place so that they get thickened after each packaging process. Now if you see, in humans there are 46 chromosomes and the total amount of DNA is approximately 2 meters if you, uh, in all the 46 chromosomes. So to accommodate this large DNA into small nucleus, this packaging is required and during this packaging three levels of condensation takes place so that the two meters long DNA gets accommodated inside the sm small nucleus. So the DNA which is, uh, uh, which is unpackaged or uh, the, when it is not associated with anything, it is the diameter is two nanometers. During first level of packaging which is called nucleosome model, two nanometers DNA diameter gets uh, condensed to 10 nanometers. Then in second level of pack packaging which is called solenoid model, it condenses to 30 nanometers. Then the third level of packaging, it condenses to 300 nanometers and then attains 700 nanometer and 1400 nanometer structure. If you read this text from the book Clug and Cummings, then they say that why packaging of chromosome or condensation of chromosome is required in eukaryotes because the eukaryotes are complex organisms they have many cells and if uh, we uh, see the total uh, amount of dna which is present in these cells then they are very high compared to the prokaryotic cells that is why they need to be accommodated in a very small space inside the nucleus so you can refer the books of genetics for this particular topic now in eukaryotes the dna is associated with histone proteins and dna has negative charge because of phosphate uh, group and the histones have positive charge so the negatively charged dna is wrapped around the positively charged histone proteins which are formed of positively charged uh, amino acids so if you see uh, the dna is present around uh, octamer of histone proteins and these histones are positively charged so the histone proteins are of five kinds which are present inside the DNA and the names of these histone proteins are H2A, H2B, H3, H4. So this uh, four types of histone proteins, there are two molecules of each histone proteins is present. That is why it is, it is called a octamer of histone proteins and this octamer of histone proteins, they are uh, wrapped up with some amount of DNA and then the histone H1 is also present as linker DNA with uh, with linker DNA histone H1 links the two uh, new particles which we will we are going to discuss in next few slides so if you see we have just discussed that during packaging of chromosome there are three levels of packaging and in this picture you can see that uh, the first uh, one you can see that the short they are saying that this is a short DNA double strand uh, so you can see that they are writing it as 2 nanometers um, diameter and then uh, this is the when it condenses to 11 nanometers this is called nucleosome model and this is also called beads on string form of chromatin and then the next level of packaging you can see that it is uh, condensed to 300 nanometers and this is called solenoid model so um, from 11 nanometers it condenses to 30 nanometers and then next is 300 nanometers and next is 700 nanometers and then ultimately the chromosomes type of structure is formed so, so the first level of packaging is called nucleosome model 
which is also called beads on string model so nucleosome model was proposed by roger onberg and the examination of eukaryotic chromatin of chromosome reveals beads on string or nucleosome model or new particles so each bead plus connecting string is called a repeat unit or a nucleosome so you have to remember that each bead plus its connecting string is called a nucleosome or um, um, is called or a repeat unit a nucleosome has approximately 200 base pairs of dna plus five histone proteins the bead has 140 base pairs of dna which is wound into complete superhelical turns around a protein core which bears two molecules each of histones h2a h2b h3 and h4 connecting string has 60 base pairs of dna plus histone h1 the bead is called core particle and the string is called linker bead which is called core particle has inactive dna heterochromatin and connecting string called linker dna is called active dna or euchromatin so in this picture you can see that this is a bead and the connecting string is called linker dna the bead has uh, 140 base pairs of dna and it is this 140 base pairs of dna ha, ha, is wound around octamer of histone proteins and the linker dna uh, is uh, has histone h1 protein and it has 60 base pairs so 140 plus 60 becomes 200 base pairs of dna and these histone proteins they are of five kinds h2a h2b h3 h4 and h1 and this model this represents the first level of packaging and this was proposed by roger onberg now you can see in this picture that the first dna is 2 nanometers then the first level of packaging it is going to become 11 nanometers then it becomes 30 nanometers then it becomes 300 nanometers and then it becomes 700 nanometers and finally it becomes 1400 nanometers so in 2 nanometers it is just dna it is not associated with any protein during first level of pa packaging which is called nucleosome model the dna is wrapped around histone proteins to form a beaded structure which is called nucleosome model and during this packaging because it is wrapped around so the length of the dna decreases and the diameter increases so it attains from 2 nanometers it attains 11 nanometers then further condensation takes place it means that further wrapping takes place and that is called solenoid model when further nucleosome model also condenses or um, so it becomes from 11 nanometers it becomes 13 nanometers and in nucleosome model only histone proteins are there in scaffold model also till now only histone proteins are there now when further condensation takes place when further looping act, uh, takes place the non-histone proteins also comes and they get associated with this structure then it is called protein scaffold and during this condensation 300 nanometers is attained diameter is attained then further condensation takes place to uh, further looping takes place so that this further condensation takes place to form 700 nanometers and then ultimately it attains the structure of chromosome which is of 4 1400 nanometers because each chromatid is 700 nanometers so this is how the condensation takes place to form a metaphase metaphase structure of chromosome now these are the electron micrographs and uh, showing uh, and the pictorial diagram showing side by side for your for your understanding so we have discussed that uh, in two nanometers dna no proteins association in first level of packaging that is your nucleosome model the histone proteins come and it attains a structure of 10 nanometers in second level of packaging which is solenoid model 30 nanometers is uh, attained by condensation and in third level of packaging that is yours when the known protein a uh, non histone proteins comes the 300 nanometers uh, diameter is attained then further uh, looping occurs to attain a structure of 700 nanometers and then 
finally the chromatid uh, has two chromatids um, 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 of chromosomes makes it a 1400 nanometer structure so you have to uh, you can see both the diagrams the electron micrograph which are your uh, these electron micrographs and these pictorial description so you can refer many books you can uh, refer different books of genetics to understand this topic like you can see here uh, this is a picture from Clug and Cummings uh, which is a very good book of genetics so you can see that here uh, this is a picture of electron micrograph revealing nucleosomes appearing as beads on string um, from Drosophila melanogaster. So you can see that it is like a beaded structure, or you can see, you can just say that it is like a motiyonki mala. That is why it is called uh, beads on a string. So moti, which is your bead, is the core particle of nucleosome, and the linker is not the core particle. It is H1 protein plus 60 base pairs of DNA. So this is the first level of packaging, and this is your beaded structure or nucleosome model then in this text from uh, Clark and Cummings you can refer, you can see that they are mentioning about H2A, H2B, H3, H4 uh, histone proteins, core particles uh, this picture is again from Clark and Cummings so you can see that how they are describing that uh, the DNA um, then um, 2 nanometers DNA then it is uh, first level of packaging and then second level, level of packaging solenoid model third level of packaging and then ultimately how the protein structure of metaphase uh, the chromosome structure which we see during metaphase is attained so you can refer plug in cummings you can refer any book of genetics like peers like snustad and simons griffiths to understand this topic better and I hope you have understood the topic. So, thank you students.